Welcome back to Expeditions Rome. We are in a bit of a predicament. Our weaker African legion is getting attacked and we didn't have the time to switch legions. So let's see how that will work out. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. We can't do anything about it now. So do we want to do anything with our other legion? We could get some money maybe while we are at it. And uh, yeah, let's see. They're so weak. I mean, they're good with infantry, but anything else, I switched the commanders out so that we are stronger here. But yeah, oh gosh. I mean, it's okay. They have a pretty, pretty nice overall strength. Yeah, but look at that, <laughs> 3,700. Versus 5,500. Well, oh, I wanted to dispatch these. Okay, let's see. We have new stratagems. Maybe before they actually arrive, we can make it in. Yeah, we are on. A nope, we can't. <laughs> okay, it's not as bad as I thought. They've much more experience, but less active manpower. Okay. Oof. Look at these risks. I think I take him then. He does have an insubordination risk, but a hundred percent survival chance. And he needs to level. He's pleased though. He needs to level two. No, we take him. The men are awaiting your orders. Okay, that's good. Now, what can we do about that? Not much. We will lose a ton of morale. Which is pretty bad, but there's not much we can do about it. Uh, we will, though, have a taunting ambush for the enemy. In How shall we proceed? With a carefully aimed peeler? Maybe? Enemy scatters. Oh, that is actually pretty good. Then it was worth it. Here we have a superior loot reward. I don't really care about that. <laughs> more of our men will survive because he's a medic. One of our manipoles is about to break! The manipoles. Uh, I don't like the risk. So... I think we... Swap them cautiously. Definitely. No risks. So yeah, we celebrate and plunder. Sinite milites exultare. They're all still here. Awesome. That worked out well, actually. <laughs> nice. We even gained plus three morale. Okay. 
No loot at all. I can live with that. Whew. Okay, that went well. No worries there. They can deal with the enemy. Now, what do we want to deal with next? We can conquer this region. Oh, this region. But this we have to explore first. So, let's go back. And let's upgrade whatever is in the arsenal. One, one, two, 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 or one, three. A screen line. What else do we want? I think a siege tower because we don't have one yet. And that is it. Slowly but surely we are getting all those things. There's one hour left. We have nothing to craft. So let's explore. I wonder where they came from. We should attack wherever they came from because they scattered. So somebody must be weak at the moment and we should exploit that. But I do not know where they came from. Maybe here? 3200. That is pretty weak. But that's not the neighboring region. I mean it is to here. Where else could they have come from? There? And there is something. And we cannot see where they go to because they scattered, right? So they won't run. Hmm. In that case, let's go north. There's something. A half pack camp to be collect. We leave it. Okay, there's nothing. Um, then let's see what's up there. But can we collect wood? A farm? That's not bad. This seems to be. Ah, okay. Slippery stones. You have been following a small river for some time, looking for a good place to cross. It soon becomes clear that there are no bridges here, but you do find a shallow spot with smooth rocks that can be used as stepping stones. It should have been a simple thing to cross these stones, but as everyone knows, Fortuna is a fickle mistress. A splash and a yelp of pain alerts you that Marcus Petronius has slipped on one of the red rocks and fallen into the river. He is pulled back out of the water easily enough by his friends, but he is moving with a clear limb and his leg is already beginning to swell. With sighs of admonishment, Petronius is sent to the healer. <laughs> Dang, Petronius, be careful next time. Oh, not here. Um, I think you do it. Now, what do we have here? Yeah. That seems doable. Why don't we do that then? We attack right away, shall we? Oh, there they come. We have to mitigate the logistics and the infantry. So whom do we want to send? I think we want to send you, actually. Or more aggression? Actually, I sent you. Which formation shall we use? Maybe a taunting ambush, how about that? Oh yeah, an impenetrable flank.
the enemy. Ooh. They do have something up their sleeves. Steady enemy weakness. Brutal cavalry and circle. Yeah, that might work. Less manpower is good. I don't think we are able to scatter here. Nope. The enemy line is breaking! Okay. Do we want to mitigate that? I think so. More defense. Inspirational, inspirational speech. <laughs> That's not good. Not very inspiring if so many go missing. Isolate and uh, exterminate. Uh, I think we uh, be surprised with our cavalry charge. there we could go for an infirmary tent and we should nice but they will join another army okay no loot no one leveled but we did gain army experience we have so much experience I think that's the end of the map. So, ah, it's one of these. Deploy a legion to take control of local camps by force. 10 experience. Uh, dedicate a force of slaves to monopolize the infrastructure of the region, allowing you to control commerce and communication. 15 slaves. Or 50 medicine. The region was struck by a disease. Providing medical aid would help you gain the trust. Is there any medic medication that we can... Yeah, I think we can go for that. We go for the nice guy choice. But my legion is not home. No, they are. So let's do that while we explore the next region. And we go for that with the other legion. Where do they go now? I see them. So if I go here... They go... No, they are gone. Vanished in the woods. What do we have here? Adwena Silva. Yeah? I wonder if there's some... No, there's nothing here, right? Nice. Now let's get the resources real quick. Uh, is the other legion back? I don't think so. Let's start just here. Oh, they're not home yet. Where do we go? Let's not be idle. A message from Divitiacus. Two Gallic hunters astride a single horse meet you on the road. They stop a cautious distance away and one of them shouts to you that they bring a message from Divitiacus. The other then recites the message to you, Verbatim. By the will of Tutatis, it has been made known to us that we will meet once again to discuss a matter of utmost importance. A certain time from now, we will meet at your camp. You will be there, and so shall we be. Their message delivered, the hunters turn their horse and gallop away. Oh, interesting. End of the Aedui? Oh no. That's bad news for them. Okay, they purchased the medicine, so now we can dispatch here. And the other legion can maybe grab. Oh, they're not home yet. 
Are we doing something? I wanna go around that mountain. No, that's the end of the map. Okay. Let's grab the XV. Okay, iron mine. We can dispatch here and dispatch them. Noise. Deserters! Your sentries have spotted a large group of Gallic warriors carelessly moving your way. Most of them do not have any weapons and a dark mood seems to have taken hold of their ranks. Hmm. Ready your weapons, but do not brandish them. We'll confront them and figure out what th this is. The Gauls slow when they heave into view and see your people waiting for them down the road. Pausing for a moment to discuss this development among each other, a man who appears to be their leader comes forward to greet you in passable Latin. Well met. I come to you with empty hands and peace in my heart. My warriors no longer have the will to fight. We have left the army of working Atorix, and we wish only to return to our homes and our families. Why have you deserted, Resingetorix? He fights for a lost cause. We don't wish to die for his pride. How would you like to be on the winning side of this war? If you'll accept a commission with my legion, you will be paid well for your service. I offer you an alternative. Paid servitude with my legion. If you accept, you will one day have an opportunity to become Roman citizens. It's... Huh. Does he want that? <laughs> Let's try. I gained slaves. Adding deserters to the legion sounds like a very bad idea, but the legion can use more survey and it is limited what damage they could do. Not all of them like the idea, but the war weary soldiers reluctantly accept your offer. Oh. Oh, servitude! Oh, I... Ah! Dang it. <laughs> My bad. I misunderstood. I thought they would serve as, as soldiers. Or not as slaves. Well, now I know. What's that? Okay, a farm. Let's check out this settlement. Oh, we should send our legions to do something. You can go there and... Oh, oh, they're on the way. No, not we. Okay, we uncovered that. It's okay. East Belgi Belgica. There's a treasure. Nemesis, despite the beauty of these lands, it's easy to let your thoughts drift while you travel. You've made your way into an area where the terrain is dense and the paths twisty, seeming to reflect your environment. Countless thoughts of strategy, troop movements and politics crowd your mind. You're shaken from your reverie by the dull twack of arrows, leaving bowstrings. Your Praetorians raise their shields and throw themselves off their horses without even thinking, avoiding the worst of the volley. <sighs> it's Legio Vixi, isn't it? Yeah. You can't help but grind your teeth in anger as you see that the men who emerge from the wilderness around you are unmistakably Romans. It's Vixi! You have no time to order your people around. You must fight alongside whomever was near you when Vixi struck. We have the high ground. Do the archers with us? Yes. There's their leader and untrained. And untrained. I have to kill eight. Oh! Goodness. They're now back. Oh, that is not good. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. So we try to hold that path. Hmm. Oh no! He 
he's hurt. I mean, yeah, but why does he fight then? <laughs> Dang it. Okay, let's see. Not much we can do. Oh, he'll fall. So let's concentrate on people that we can actually kill. Oh, that's bad. Hungering down. Okay, not on him, for example. He's hungering down. Okay. With whom do we deal? Can you kill here? Only if we have some armor shred. Can you armor shred? Maybe. F hmm. Multiple targets. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> nice. Now you can kill for sure, I think. Now, could you maybe heal here? I require help. Come on, admit you needed that. Okay. <laughs> admit you needed that. That's funny. He doesn't need anything else. Um. Multiple? No, it's not worth it. Can you even reach down there? Yes. Um, putting on a deflect would be good. What can you do while you're still alive? I think you should try it and armor shred. Okay, good. Still, most probably don't kill, right? With that, we would kill. But it doesn't give us an action back. So, question is if we shouldn't do the kill with him. Forfeit all remaining movement. could do that but then he would stand there which isn't maybe the worst actually I could stand here if I used that no He dies next turn. Now you are still not free to leave here. That's the problem. Twenty-two. What if I overwatched into that direction? Because they all have to move. I'm covering this area. And then That's bad. <laughs> Why don't we use that on those? Or on those? Does anybody else have a smoke bomb? He has poison, so you are using the poison and we smoke ourselves. What direction though? Where don't we want to move? 
here they have to go through no matter what so put there and you smoke us up here can she still shoot if she's in the smoke though yeah that's the thing right she cannot she cannot shoot out of the smoke can she because she doesn't see I'm not sure about how that works good smoke huh let's poison these two why not okay now let's see what happens oh we still have an action Ooh. now I have to kill that guy but now we have a deflect maybe we could even sit here or nah. I want to yeah I think I want to protect her so I think I sit here and you come with me we stay somehow together there is an archer though somewhere there shoot ah she killed him right but I thought she had two shots if she does that okay good who can do anything you can do any, uh, something multiple I do like that that would affect these two or rather these two but we cannot kill and gain back I mean I can kill here wait 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 oh he doesn't have shield eight to ten it's not enough I mean, I can only, like, do maybe this, and then... Oh, that wouldn't even kill. 9 to 12. Oh, dang it. He then bleeds to death. That's all I can achieve here. Mm, then let's wait for a second. Who else can act? You can? Yeah, let's apply Savage. But then he's out of focus. Like that. Shall we? And now he has another action. So we can do that. And now only two are left. can kill him for sure disable the targets active weapon set
that should kill. This yeah. is the last one! Keep it slow and steady, people! Okay. Can you attack here? Okay. And now she can't kill, right? Because she's engaged and disarmed. Has knocked down. Who else has you do have actions? But that don't help us either. Or doesn't help us either. Some more people will fall. Let's put a dodge on you at least. I mean, we still have that. So we can kill him. Yeah, okay. Whew. Now we have so many injured people. We have to go back to camp. But it's a long, long way. Ah. that let's see what we can do light critical Critical. And now we go back. I think, yeah, that's all we can do. It's closest. But while we do that, can we grab something? We can grab the money. Oh, they're not home yet. Okay. There's nothing else to do here. Let's hope that everybody survives. They did. Are we, Legate? The druid Diviteacus requests an audience. He awaits you in your tent. He's already here. Oh, exciting. Okay. First. We do that. And uh, we upgrade. Two, two, one, two, two. I take that. Yeah, that seems safer. <laughs> and what do we want? I think a siege tower. Here we get rid of the miners, of course. Yep. And we put them right back in. Oh, it doesn't matter, right? I think I put him in. Yeah. And that's it. We should have restocked the tent. Oh, right, yeah. Now I have to wait. But it's better we meet him healed up. Isn't it? Can we send the Legion while this is running? 
Not sure. Doesn't seem so. Because we could hunt. Okay. It's done. We let him wait for quite some time, didn't we? <laughs> Let's see what we can upgrade. Oh, nice! Uh, the lavacrum, and that's it. To indifferent. That could be useful. Let's do it. What do we need for that? Two wood. Do we need wood for that too? No. Ah, uh, yes, we do. It doesn't matter. Now, do we have people that would need to get in there? Unwavering, unwavering, please. Loyal, loyal, indifferent. Hesitant. Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Thank you for sending me those schematics your people found. I've made a list of materials needed. Whenever you have a moment to go over it. Okay. All quiet. Do we need stuff? I mean, soon we need food, most probably. Maybe we should take that quest. Legate! Do you have a moment, please? I have come all the way from Africa to talk to you. Do you? Okay. Legate! Awe! My name is Sabinia. I have traveled very far to meet you. Very, very far. A legion camp like this is no place for a girl like you. You must have some you must have come far indeed. Tell me how I can help you, Sabinia. I don't have time. Thank you. It's been an arduous journey, and I was afraid I would just be turned away upon arrival. My father's name is Sabinius Orsinus. He was once the Praefectus of a Roman legion. He said he met you during your conquest of Egypt, and he spoke highly of you. I do remember old Orsinus. He came to our camp to sell drawings of a banner in order to fund... Ah! It's him. That's right. The denarii you gave him got our family through some very difficult times. But... My father needs you again. He served Rome for 30 years. Now he is sick may be dying and Rome will not come to his aid. I wouldn't come here to beg. He gave me something to sell to you again. A new design for a better banner. If you'll purchase it from me, it will pay for his transport to Rome and his treatment there. What affliction ailed your father? A terrible cough racks his lungs. He can barely breathe and has been bedridden for months. I must return to him soon, or I fear it's too late. Your father's banner has served us well. In what way is this better? This is a banner that honors Jupiter. It will inspire your men in a different way, no doubt. To defend themselves courageously and give no ground. Aha. Uh -huh. I will give you something better than money. I will send a medicus from my legion to accompany you back to Africa. I will consider your offer. My prefectus Nasso will arrange accommodations for you in the meantime. Can we do that? You are generous, Legate. But my father has not suffered an arrow wound or a broken bone. He needs the best medical treatment in Rome. Okay, well, here... Yeah, we can afford a thousand denarii. I can spare the money you need here more than a fair price for the plants you carry with you. Thank you, Legate. With this, I can buy a fast horse that will carry me home in time to save him. Here, the schematics he gave me. He told me your smith will be able to use these to forge an idol worthy of Jupiter. I hope this banner will help you as much as you have helped my family. Okay, I hope it's not a scam. <laughs> Our way. 
Ah, way legate. Watch straight. Okay, nothing here. I think I can just make it now. I guess. We didn't get a new quest. No. Salve. Oh, what I wanted to look though. Is if we can upgrade our tactical staff, like the Pilum. Oh, now it's a Pilum 3 because we are still throwing Pila 1, right? Oh, they need different stuff. And we need to make them and exchange them. I see. They need three of those. Okay, where do I get those? <gasps> Maybe. Let me see, maybe by dismantling the others. So, if I would... Dismantle. Ah, okay, that's how it is. I need one more, let's try. If I dismantle... Oh. Do, you, do we have a used one? Throwing knives. Mm. You have to give yours. Yeah. A javelin tool. Now I can make the three. Okay, I see. These I cannot just upgrade. Ben of Jupiter, what do we need? An idol, okay. Okay, let's... Um, you go in here. Let's go back to the smith real quick. We deal with that and then we talk to Divitiacus. Awe legate. What strange and impractical weapon do you want me to forge today? <laughs> I've come into possession of these schematics for a new legion standard, honoring Jupiter. I need a figurehead for it. Let me see. These are detailed schematics. If I just follow them well enough, I'm sure I can create what you need. Why awesome. don't you lend me a hand? Your hands are not too soft to hold a pair of tongs, are they? Come, let's get to work. <laughs> Well done. Your fine patrician upbringing did not leave you entirely devoid of practical skills. If your wine harvest ever fails, you can always come work with me in the smithy. It's an interesting <laughs> design. Quite the impressive idol, if you ask me. It'll be a good banner for sure. Awesome. Can we make it? We can. Place a weakened eagle standard at the target location. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I do like that. Other than that, we're good. And we should also upgrade the throwing knives. So actually, let's do that. You have some? And that's it. I'm pretty sure that Bestia has some, yeah. He then gets the throwing knife threes. He can make only one anyways. Okay. Salve, Domine. Honestly, this guy creeps me out a bit. It is his way of dressing and speaking, I suppose. I find him to be a perfectly ordinary person otherwise. It doesn't matter, we will respect him as long as he's our ally. Perhaps you are right. 
Nevertheless, he still makes me feel uneasy. Patience, my friend. I do not intend to let him outlive his usefulness. You'll have to live with it, Kai. So diplomacy leaves little room for personal feelings. That's so rude. But that's also rude. I just can't bring myself to trust him. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Neither do I, but we work with whatever we have at our disposal. Fair enough. Just be careful. So it came to pass that you arrived. Salvage I hope you're well. Hope is for the clueless. An enlightened man knows. Aren't we all clueless when you get right down to it? Well then, enlighten me, We will it. tell you what will come to pass. To be enlightened is a choice you will make. Doom Norix is shadowing your every step. It has been made known to us that he will attack you at a moment you least expect. How do you know this? It has been made known to us. When will he attack? That is not known to him yet. He will want to consult the gods. Where will be the ambush? Where will he ambush the us? The place is for the gods to determine. Thus, he will ask them. Why are you telling me this? It is unclear yet. Doom Norix will fight, for he is a fighter. We will know, for we are a knower. It is not for the Eidwi to fight. You will stop, Doom Norix. To stop him, I will need to ambush him myself. That you can do, as long as you know where he will be. He will feel the need to know the outcome of his intended attack. Our brother will, therefore, come to the high place. There, he will ask three questions to the three deaths and wait for the answers. You will be the answer, if Tutatis wills it. You will meet us at the high place soon. For this boon, the three deaths will require your presence and sacrifice. I get it. He will be busy attending a ritual, allowing us to ambush him. Hmm. I like the way you think, David Yakus. To the high place, then. <laughs> okay. I think that's the place where we have been before. Let's wait for the upgraded javelin, pila and throwing knives. Enemies on the move! Oh no! So dismount. Right ahead of the enemy army and spread 300 denarii around among the villagers on their path, recruiting them to spread dissent and discord. Ah, we're running low on money. Uh, Pack of deceived the gods and thinking the legion is much more numerous. Yeah, why not? Uh, you go. So many questions. Uh, so, okay. West Narbonensis. This time we change out the legions. West Narbonensis again. So, how much time do we have? Oh, if we do that, though. Mm. Yeah, let's come here first. Garrison. So that they are closer. We are in the same situation. 18 hours. I think, well, I garrison the other legion here, that would be 7 hours. And then I garrison this legion here, that would be 13 hours. Yeah, okay. Like that, we can do it. Morale increased. Oh, well, that's awesome. Okay. In 
the meantime, we can look for treasure. Oh, nice. Didn't work out. Oh, I like the design on that. It'll work out. But before that battle, we come closer here. We can actually now send our other legion up there so that we have a close up camp to go in. I don't know if we get our crafted stuff in there though. We can try, but we'll find out in the next episode. I move towards there, but stop before the battle happens. I mean, the battle happens only when they actually arrive, right? So we still can garrison these, get in there. And let's see if we receive our stuff. We do, it's interchangeable. I do like that. So let's get those in so that we don't forget. Whom did I take it off? So you now get the level three. And I think I take the Pila, the new ones. And then we have to buy stuff. Now this one is very interesting. Yeah? I like that. Uh, base damage and piercing resistance. Health and base damage minimum. What do you have? Move. I do like the movement though. Focus. Movement. Yeah. Why don't you take that? Awesome. Okay. Now we need a bit of upgrading. The other legion has returned, it seems. The one that is not commanded by our legatus. So why should we trust them when they have betrayed us once already? Two legions is more than enough to take this land. Weak tricks and Afrorum together are invincible. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> we don't need them. And uh, with that, I end the episode here. Thank you so, so much for watching it. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.